Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Um, this is just a very quick um, show and tell. There's no, uh, not going to be any music in this, but I just wanted to, I had a few questions about um, using Plog in the background, so I thought I'd just show you very quickly how I'm doing that. Um, so in my logic template, I've got, um, if I just scroll down to the bottom and see what we've got, there's about 700 and something tracks, 750 odd tracks, and I've got, um, things subdivided into different sections, kind of like a stave-ish. Um, so I've got wood woodwinds um, going down through the brass strings. I've got a load of stuff here, percussion, um, all kinds of synth stuff. Um, I've got a section for when I'm when I'm putting um, if I'm putting audio in, just little bits and pieces here. And then the percussion which I've split off in the bottom. I'm actually in the process of, of redoing this but it's one of those things where you never kind of want to um, just start from scratch again. So it does kind of develop. But all of this stuff is pretty much MIDI. Um, and then there's the odd thing. I think I've, if I go down here, what have we got? Um, I've got in here, there's a couple of things like I've got BFD2 running. Um, and there's a few bits and pieces that, that are, you know, that I have a couple of EXS in, um, instruments and things like that. But what I use is I use, um, I've got two Mac Pros running, uh, the first one of which is this one running Logic. And then in the background on this machine, I've also got Plogue running. So what happens is in Plogue, there are 16 of these MIDI input devices called Bidules. And then they're connected to instances of contact. So within each instance of contact, I've got a variety of things loaded up. So if I pick one at random, um, Within here, then, for example, I've got uh, some of my woodwinds and I think probably, yeah, some effects patches, a few piano patches and things like that. So, and this is set up multi-timbrally. And then these go to um, my audio card here. Um, now, in this Logic Mac, I have actually two audio cards. I've got uh, I've got the HDSP e MADI card. In, um, in this machine which goes into a third Mac Pro which is running Pro Tools um, via an SSL MADI link and then I've also got this connected to an RME Five Face 800 which so so I, I have two sets of outputs from this machine I've got the MADI outputs here which could be any audio card it could be like a, a ADAC card or anything like that um, that sends audio from there to to Pro Tools but also from Logic itself I've got um, I use uh, 16 outs from from the RME Fireface, which also go into Pro Tools. So Pro Tools kind of acts as my tape deck. It's my um, mixing and, and tape deck tool. And then I've got a, a separate standalone Mac Pro, um, which is loaded up with, I think it's got 24 gigs of RAM in. And on that one, I've got Plogue running as well. Um, this one also has an HDSP MADI card in. Um, and so this one sends 32 channels of audio and the other one sends 32 channels of audio. So you can have 64 channels in total from, from these two machines going into, into your MADI input, which in my case is, is in Pro Tools. So then in this, um, on this machine, I've got most of my uh, Spitfire stuff. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces. I've got a few things here, um, other libraries, but essentially I've got um, just loads and loads of individual plugs all loaded up with stuff and then all of these are kind of routed to various outputs from the MADI card um, so I, I set it up so that when I press record in Pro Tools I've got a load of inputs happening there um, in fact let me um, let me go back to screen sharing so I'll just bring up that screen here so you can see. So there's there's um, down here we've got a variety of things um, coming in. There's some things coming in various 192s. There's some things coming in from Logic here, you can see. And then we've got path one, and then up are the stereo inputs um, all the way down there from from um, from the the SSL. So there's 32 stereo paths there. And then when we go down, I, I route all of these um, to a variety of different stems. So you can see down here, um, sorry, buses. Um, so I'm busing these into things like choir, drums, ethnic, synths, woodwinds. And then there's also a few reverbs set up here. Um, 
so that I can add little bits of reverb and that again goes to the correct stem and then my stems down here I have um, two percussion stems I might expand this depending on the job but um, you can see that I've got um, everything kind of split down when these go into record here um, basically everything is going through a little bit of outboard via a couple of auxes but essentially when when I put these into record I can stem everything at the same time and it just saves a huge amount of time to have that set up um, ready to go and then my final um, mix mix track here which has my stereo mixes which I then put down so that's how I have everything set up um, and I think I hope that that's explained a little bit about Vigil I mean if I go back to this Vigil when you load it up you'll see down here you've got a few things um, if we look at MIDI uh, the, the first thing you have to set up is your is your uh, audio device so and duplex means you've got inputs and outputs so here you can see I've got the microphone that I'm using at the moment the headset there's my MIDI card and you just literally drag that into here and it appears like this there's the uh, the other part of that duplex um, so and then the Fireface is there but obviously I'm not using that in this program that's only being used from Logic so that's the audio device then you go into your MIDI devices and you can see you've got a whole load of stuff here um, the bidules that you set up um, you know you just drag them on like this and then you you drag on an, an audio um, an AU music device um, so you can see in in native instruments here I've got my contacts and again you just click the one that you want you drag it onto the page and then when you double click it and open it up you can see everything just appears um, it's a, a normal version of contact it's you know it's just within a, a slight shell the plug shell but essentially it's the same thing it's just an AU plugin um, this is quite a useful thing to have if you send MIDI clock from Logic to the IAC driver um, which you can set in the sync preferences in Logic and then you connect that to this bit your MIDI clock to sync which you can find down here with somewhere within um, it's probably in here in the MIDI section MIDI clock to sync then you get a possibility um, to clock to send that clock that MIDI clock to individual uh, contacts now for example here because I'm using these um, these Brunel loops in this section I have in sync I just set that to MIDI clock to sync defaults to none and then when the when the logic plays MIDI clock out that goes down through that vigil there and then it just any of these that you select like you can see all of these have got it selected um, will receive MIDI clock so anything that's tempo synced that's how you get that into there um, and then you wire them up to whatever your output is here you can mix them you can just drag um, drag the cables into the same output slots if you want to you don't need to put a separate mixer up here pretty straightforward to use um, and um, fairly solid so uh, hopefully that's that's helped explain a little bit about Vigil um, and how I use it just in in, um, in, in the context of, of the work that I'm doing so uh, there we go okay thanks for watching bye bye